Alrighty, guys. Well, how the heck you all doing tonight? Um, took CP in for her eye operation, her laser surgery stuff. And here we are. It's uh, 8.30, quarter to 9. I uh, was just checking in on Prairie Sunset Ranch. If any of you guys aren't subscribed to Prairie and you're subscribed to me, Go check out Aaron and his family and uh, Prairie Sunset Ranch out in Manitoba. I was just checking out his live stream. And so came here and I tagged out of there and came here to check on my girls because I had this one black heifer in here you guys have been watching with me. And she was laying down right where this little girl is right here. And I just moved her from there and I brought her around this post because this, I open this gate right here, and I close this gate. And I walked her right up into the main barn, into that maternity pen. She's got a, she had a foot sticking out. So I'm just gonna leave her alone for a minute or two, while I uh, go check on these other girls out back here. This morning, when I came out to the barn with that wind friggin' howling the way it was, temperature was only like minus 14, but with the wind chill, it was like minus 25 or 28, something stupid. It was just ridiculous. And that wind stayed up all friggin' day. It's died off a little bit now. But it's still windy. But what's really changed, I think we're dealing with uh, zero to plus one right now. Celsius, guys, Celsius. Mm, so, look at this chunky little fart. <clears throat> what are you doing? I had a couple of these girls. Mm, she's begging. I had a couple of these girls slick, slicking like crazy. Uh, both of these red ones earlier today. No, not her. That red number seven on the other side of this black white face cow. She's getting real close. Now for some light. Doot. Let's see what's going on outside here because we got a black one that's been acting kind of funny. But for how warm it is, yeah, you can see a little bit of a slick on her. Tail swishing, swashing. But for how warm it is, we sure as hell don't need to be locking them up tonight. Not at plus one, they'll get too hot. And you're doing nothing but stuff in your face. How much mineral? Because they've been picking at it. It's there. But they've been picking at it. They've been looking at it. <laughs> Friggin' wind. They're coming into the barn because that's where it's cleaner, more comfortable bed down area, right? Anyway, let's go back and check on our little black girl that's got a foot sticking out of her backside. Now that I just moved her the way I did, I'll probably have to leave her alone for a little bit. But it looks like a little bit of a large foot, guys. Once we get done, oh, she went to lay down already. 
once we get done with this black heifer here tonight, that'll be the end of our heifers for probably a month. We've got one left. Yeah. One foot just kind of sort of starting. And I'd really like to get in there and find out if the second foot is close by or not. I've got a bad feeling that it might not be. If she'll let me get close enough. She's nowhere. Oh, what's this? Yep. That's the other foot right there. It's right there. And there's a there's a mouth right there too, so I would really like to see her have it all by herself. I don't want to have to go in and pull it. I like it when they could do it on their own. How's that sound? Mm, so. There. I'm just going to leave her alone. I'm going to close that far door. And get Mocha Dog the hell out of here. So she's not bugging this cow. Come on, Mocha. <whistles> come on, Moki. You going to come? You can't crawl underneath. You got to come through right there. You coming? Come on. <laughs> she doesn't know what the hell to do. I'll have to go around, close it up, open up a pen and close up other pens. Mocha dog's been chased too many times by some mean cows. So she doesn't like going directly in the pen with the cows. Where'd you go? Mocha. I don't know where she went. Here she is. Come here. There she is. Come on. Well, on the upside, this girl, she, uh, waited for nicer weather, right? It's not minus 50 or minus 20 or minus whatever. It's on the plus side. So I'm going to leave her alone. I'll leave the lights on. I'm going to walk up to the house. And leave her be for, oh, half hour, 45 minutes. And then we'll come back and see what's going on. We'll talk to you guys then. Yeah. Well, guys, here we go. And it, he's large and in charge. But mama's helping. So I'm not going to put the puller on too heavy yet. I'm just going to add pressure when... Pressure's required. There's the head. Yeah. Come on, Mama. I need a rag. Oh. Don't hip lock on me.
Here we are. Oh, big white face, black white face. Yeah. But he's up. He's breathing. That's the big ticket right there. Make sure you get him out and get him breathing. There, good cough. Cough some of that stuff out of there. Okay, hey, you got to see us kind of sort of pull. CP kind of tossed the phone to the side, so we'll bring you guys back in a bit. Does she have any more in her? There we go. For a heifer, she should going to work, going to town here. I'm gonna give her a kick here and see if she'll get up. Get up, girl. I know it was a pull, but it wasn't that big a pull. There you go. Now work it, licking your baby off. You got your gloves, right, babe? Yeah. Is she on his front leg? I don't think so. No. That's what you want to see, guys, right there. Alrighty. Good enough for this one. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, and fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. Catch you guys later.